Hello, everybody. I am Sarah Magney. I am the artistic director of that showbiz theater project. Um, I wanted to make this video because I have been discovering that not a lot of people know that Zoom actually has automated, automated generated, <laughs> auto generated captioning. Um, I'm nervous because if you had told me like just a little less than a year ago that I would be giving anybody a tor t tutorial on anything to do with technology, I would have really, really laughed in your face. And now here I am. But I'm really, really excited about this. And I don't know when Zoom got this service because I'm sure as a lot of you know who have tried to use Zoom captioning before, they did not have this automated captioning service before. They actually had, you either had to have a live captionist type it in, or you had to use like a third party service, which usually would cost you money. If you have a paid Zoom account, they now have auto-generated captioning. And I don't know when they got it, but it must have been somewhat recently. Not a lot of people know about this. They don't know how to enable it. It's it's uh, it's a really manual process. There's a lot of like clicking and accepting and turning things on and off, but it's very, very easy. And I want to make sure that everybody knows that Zoom has auto-generated captioning. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so you have to, the first things first, you have to go to the Zoom website. You cannot just enable the captioning right away in the um, desktop shortcut. You have to actually go online. So you go to zoom.us and you go to your account. Again, just a reminder, you do need a paid Zoom account to do this. Okay, so you go into your settings in your Zoom account. So you go... You click on my account, which is on the top uh, right hand corner, and then it'll bring you into a page with a bunch of different options here. You go into account management. And then you go into account settings. Okay. So now we're gonna go to in meeting advanced. So there's these quick tabs here that you could scroll all the way down or you could actually click these quick tabs that'll take you there. So in meeting advanced, we have closed captioning. We enable that, enable. And then make sure that this is also clicked off. It looks like it automatically does that. Now I don't think it did that when I first learned about this, but enable live transcript service to show transcript on the side panel in meeting. This is a really great option. So you want to enable that. All right. And then save captions, allow participants to save fully closed captions or transcripts. Great to have that for accessibility. So these, these two, it looks like they automatically click all of those, but just make sure that they're clicked just in case yours is not set up to do that. Okay. So that's great. So that's easy peasy. That's it. It's literally a click of a button. Now, when you want to use it in the meeting, you do have to activate it manually and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Now that you are inside of Zoom, you're going to see this now, the CC icon, which you will not see if you have not enabled it. So you are going to click enable auto transcription and now you will start to see it here now for yourself you can move it around the screen wherever you like your participants as the host your participants will also be able to see it and move it around the screen where where you move it will not affect where the participants see it it will only affect where you see it uh, but the participants also will have a little hand icon that'll come up and they will also be able to move it. Also, the participants and yourself will be able to go to subtitle settings and you can actually change it from smaller to larger as needed. So there's some accessibility there. Again, whatever size I as the host put mine as does not change the size of the participants. They will have to do that manually by clicking the arrow on the CC. They will have this icon as well. There is another great thing that you can do. View full transcript. You can click here. 
This will show everything we're saying along the sides. Uh, it, it has timestamps. And also when there's more than one person in the meeting, it'll say the person's uh, screen name who is speaking at that time. The uh, participant as well as the host can click save transcript and also have a copy of the transcript. So there you have it. <laughs> Auto-generated captioning for Zoom!